Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of the Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. I'm Keith. And the rest of you are very, very welcome, and we're glad to have you with us. We are, always. Always. Without them, always. there would be no us. All right, that's fine, but maybe not everyone always. Not everyone always. There are some of you out there. <laughs> you know who you are. You know who you are. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, j Paul. <laughs> <laughs> No, really, I'm just kidding. No, really, you are very welcome. We're glad to have you with us watching today. Uh, we've got some good stuff going on today. Unfortunately, so. we are... Wow. Pull something Pull out of my right. pocket. You probably just wander around with wrenches in your pocket. Uh, today, job. yes. Um, yes, unfortunately, we're not, not out hunting today. It's a little warm. It's like 70 degrees outside. This our state can't make up its mind. No, and I think there's more mosquitoes flying than ducks. Oh my gosh, that is so. I don't want to be out there either. Yes, so we are we are not we're stuck here today, uh, which is okay because it gives us a chance to uh, talk about some more important things with these motors, which yes. is always really good, and we're going to get to that. But as always, we are going to be answering all of your questions, uh, so get those started now. Um, I've also got a few things to give away today. As you can see right here, I've got the assassin log with me, so we'll Free get those stuff. taken care of. Before, that reminds me of the, did you watch uh, Catch and Release yesterday? No, I was so, a little busy. Whatever. Just a little bit. I don't want to hear about it. I can but, show you my uh, call Yeah, whatever. Um, no, so some of our some of our good buddies from, from our show, oh, some of they you were. out there, they were on the show and they started to... Uh, Maybe take advantage a little bit of a, of a Jay Paul because he's like, hey, I won't name names, but if you go on and watch, you'll see who it was. They were like, Jeffrey and Keith always give me this. <laughs> and Jay Paul, not to be outdone, is like, okay, have whatever you want. <laughs> it's okay, lots of stuff, so it totally worked. Um, I thought that was pretty funny. So they which were, one of our, So you're not going to rat them out? No, I'm not going to rat them out. If you want to know who that was, um, go watch the show. you're going to have to go and watch it. Um, uh, catch and release, and I'm not saying that's a good method, no, because you know I Free I scolded I scolded Jay Paul. I was like, don't let these guys push you around. You make them work for it, just cause. Yes. Um, but it was really good. They were out fishing. Jeremy Cole yes. is back on. Jeremy is back. Which on. we haven't Team seen Jeremy. him for a while. Team Jeremy. Um, so they did two. They did two different lives yesterday. They did their first because they were uh, bumping for stripers uh, yesterday, which was really awesome. And uh, during the first one. Only Jeremy. Jeremy caught a couple while they were on, and Jay Paul had nothing. Team Jeremy all the way. And then uh, they did a video about an hour later, and I don't feel like I almost don't want to spoil it. If you haven't seen it, you should go and watch it because it was kind of a, it was a kind of a battle. Kind there. of a battle. Yes. There was, I, I did see a couple seconds of it. I did show him, saw him when he pulling some of the fish out of that uh, yeah cooler. That yes. Was, we're not catching anything like that. No. <laughs> oh my God. Ours look like little. Tadpoles you know, compared we, to their you stuff. know, occasionally we'll catch them and we're like, oh yeah, yeah. look at that one. That one's all right. You know, the little white bass, yeah. Th but I told you I was out the last time I went. I mean, I was catching them. I mean, like just, just baby, just a few inches. They had just spawned and they were yeah. all those little babies were hungry. <laughs> um, but no, they caught some big, some yes, some big pigs out there. Nice so fish. that was really, really awesome. They caught a cat while they were out there. Um, a bunch of stuff. So it's a really cool, cool episode. I'm sad you missed that one because it was. It was uh, a I can go home and watch it maybe tonight. Okay. Oh, because Team Jeremy was on. I'll Team watch Jeremy it. was was crushing it, which was really awesome. Yes, it is. Yes. Um, so besides all of that, uh, what has uh, what's been happening this week? Uh, Lay it on me. It's been busy. I got to sneak out last week after <sighs> you, the show last week. Yes. Um, filming wasn't good. We couldn't use a drone. Some other stuff like that. Yep. You came home. I stayed out with my son-in-law. That's right. Not much happening. No, nope, A couple birds happened. here and there, but we found a couple new places that we'd never been to. Oh, just cool. I uh, got the boat stuck, but you know, <laughs> got a little bit of horsepower. I think you and I, I got stuck with you, you and did. I. You did. We got stuck while good. we were there, but... Uh, you know, and, and, you oh, know, the, the, mud buddy, the mud buddy ran good, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to kind of rat out our guys a little bit in the shop. We even have a little bit of trouble. I can't believe you're gonna do this. Well, you know, oh. even the, even Team Mud Buddy <laughs> has stuff. some stuff that happens, but yes. it was easy. It was a quick, easy, easy fix. No. So, you people out there with your EFIs, always make sure your battery connections are tight. Yes, because that's what happened to us. That is what happened to us. We had that look. We both had that look of fear. It was like. <gasps> What happened? Oh crap! I mean, we were we were pretty far out. We were about as far as we go 
out for that spot when it cut out. But, but um, the toolbox, we had the toolbox. Yes, we seven were. Seven range, we were good. That's why I also don't go on the boat without you, because you know how to fix it, so it's always so, really nice. And then I uh, got to sneak out and go out for the weekend, and we knocked the whiz out of them yeah, you on, did. over the weekend. You did. In fact, most of you who are on Facebook... As you were scrolling through this, you should have just seen it because I just posted just that posted picture it? just about an hour ago. That was my son-in-law, Andrew, and I. We were with another friend. Can't disclose the location. <laughs> but it was Good. a teal shoot. And one one goose who made a left when he should have went right. And then when he went left, Absolutely. it was all over. And the dog did an amazing job. 21 retrieves and a big goose. So That's awesome. It was fun. That and the fun. weather was nice. And the weather was nice. Nice, yes. I mean, can't ask for better. No. That. I could have had a little bit of cooler te I mean, not cooler temperatures, maybe not so much sun. Sure. But it was fun. It was a great time. Nice. And then we had to come home. And then you had to come home. So Dang it. what Good. did you have happening? Um, I have been spending just about all of my time getting ready i'm i'm heading out next week oh, on monday right. you're heading, heading on monday i'm headed uh to tennessee to the new plant uh we've got the big grand open well not i guess not grand opening but the uh groundbreaking kind of a groundbreaking i mean it's already built the building is there but it's a it's a you know like a kind of a ribbon cutting or some yeah. sort of event we're, we're putting on an event, an event. To, you, you know nice like event. that's yes it's a nice event i'm and gonna stay home you're gonna stay home and guard the shop and put a Facebook Live up by myself somehow. You, you are somehow. Somehow we're going to pull something out of our... Um, yes, you're going to try your very boat, best. Which and, is it might, and it may be, guys, I don't know yet. We may be out on the water. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you would. We may be out on the water. <laughs> no, so that has been all my time. We've got a big sales meeting, too, so I've just like I've been putting stuff together. Getting ready to fly Getting to Getting ready for that. That's pretty much been my whole week. This weekend, I didn't get out at all. Um... The weather's too bad to golf. I can't. I can't get out. In fact, we're trying to maybe hook. I get out tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow. I know the weather's supposed to turn bad. I needed to do it today. But yes, I didn't, it's it's seventy outside today, and what forty five tomorrow. Forty five tomorrow, and then the next day snow. Yeah. So yeah, snow on Friday. Duck yes. hunting weather is finally coming. I hope <laughs> it, we get a really good hard freeze because those mosquitoes need to die. Yeah, have to die because you gotta send some anger. A oh, little anger. I'm, and you know. If you've ever been out duck hunting and the mosquitoes are flying, it's miserable, especially if you need to spray in the boat or at home. That's where... Well, let that be less. I mean, but how I hunt, many times does this have to happen before yeah. you, you know, remember that? I usually hunt with a good guy named Clint. Oh, he's here in the shop <gasps> with us, too. What? Is he right over there? No way. Clint always has whatever you need. Uh -huh. And if he doesn't have it once, he's got it twice. If he doesn't have it, you don't need it. Yeah, that's, that's the <laughs> easiest way to say it, too, too, because uh, he's got it, and he's he bug spray. You know, he's I always wish, got bug spray. I wish we could convince him to bring over his new toy. Like, I right now. I don't I know think if he's got it. You took it your with new him. toy home. What toy is that? Your new uh, decoy. Yeah, I took it home. He <sighs> took it home. What was the name of that thing? Flashback. Flashback. I don't Flashback. Know. So it's a new decoy where the head goes around uh -huh, and goes pops around. Yes. Yeah. He's got two of those. I know. I really I wanted him to come and he, demonstrate those for us. He took those on a, re a recommendation from a customer mm -hmm. that he has up in Montana, and he says, two of those, half a dozen decoys, and he See, is that, knocking them dead in that Montana. That is the way to do it. That's a quick setup, quick teardown. <laughs> Man. Just a lot of money out of your pocket, but, but so <laughs> when I see those work, you know, probably saves the fingers <laughs> worth it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I didn't have any frostbite because it was only two decoys instead of no. So when I, I when I go out within the next time when we use those, I'll I'll give a report how those were. But those yeah. are some cool looking, pricey little toys. Yes, they were really awesome. Yes. All right, well, let's get into some shout-outs. Shout see outs. what's going on. See how many Team Jeffrey followers are Ooh, out there. I saw one already, but uh, we got Andy Johnson, the boat doctor. Hey, on. Andy. Uh, Andrew is on watching. Andrew. Yeah, Andrew Hagen. Oh, hey, Andrew. I was going to say Andrew Smith. That's my son in law No, no, Andrew He's Hagen. probably working. Um, Ethan Nimmer is on. Hey, guys, he says. What's up, Ethan? Uh, Richard Rillo is on. Hey, Richard, good to see you again. Uh, oh, yeah, Illumilite. Guys are on. Yes. You guys, take a look at the Wapa Magazine, page 3634. My buddy is all over it with the triple 4400. I will do that. That yes. sounds awesome. The triple. Oh, that's his boat. He had the triples on the back of his boat. That, that's them. That's him. That's, that's them. That's right. Yes. And that's in that magazine, huh? Yes. Wildfowl. Man, We're going to check that out. I'm going to go find that right now. That's, that's well, cool. Well, after the show. Yes. 
See you later. Yeah, wait a minute. You can't leave me by myself. I'm going to freeze. Rick is on. Um, hey, guys. Thanks for the grease. Already used. Cool. That's awesome. More. Good, we got more. Good job. Um, did you ever put a good label on his or did he get the yeah, tape? No, no. I sent him a real one with label. a real label on Not yes. the tape label. Yeah, no. I tore that off. I wasn't going to send that to anybody. <laughs> um, team Jeff is on. Jeff Molinix has returned. Um, been shipping boat blinds like crazy the last eight weeks. Of course you have. Oh, yes. That's, that's all I'm sure. I'm sure it's just been wild for you. Um, we, how's, how's that coming, Key? It's not coming very fast. <laughs> you know, after the, ap- after the last two weeks of building long tails pretty much every night after work, right. I'm taking a break this You're week. You're taking I, a break. I think I'm, I'm the blind right. will be on next week. Okay. But this week, I'm just like, so you're saying I'm not doing no long tails. <laughs> I'm not staying after work. I'm that just gonna it will be on lights. before I get back. Is that the goal we're working I, for? I, I By the time I, I get back from it, Tennessee, it might cost us a nice dinner. <laughs> All right, have a guy help us. I can do that. But or I'll tell him we'll do lunch. lunch. Take him, we'll take him to the no, no, no dinner. No, we'll take him to the nice little uh, right. place over there on 90th South. There. The thing is, you take him to dinner like after work, then you know. No, no, you no. You can have dinner because I gotta stay really late. <laughs> oh, that's true. You gotta. So we'll yeah. do. We'll, okay, do, we'll take him to a nice yes, lunch. You got it. Pins and ale. Or sure, we'll go to, what's sure. the other place? Yeah, the, the sheep or something yeah, the like sheep, that. Yeah, the sheep, yeah. We'll do something like that. He'll help us out. Juan's a good dude. <laughs> if you, the, all you guys remember Juan from yes, last season. Yes, Juan, he won the... He won the, competi- the prop competition. The prop competition. Yeah. Yes, he's, he's, he's going to be our man. He's we our boat blind that assembler. Yes. That's, what I, that's what I need to put together. It's another... The Olympics. The, the Olympics, mud, yes. The mud buddy Olympics. <laughs> but the young guy against the old guy. That's always fair. It's always fair. I'm in better shape now, though. You are. I am. I feel a lot better. I've been out better than, yeah. walking in the marsh and no, the whole heart's still now. going and the blood's getting thinner and we're doing all right. <laughs> Way better than the last The blood's getting before. thinner. That's yes. a thin blood. That's something. I, bru- I bruise something easy. Say. You bruise easy. <laughs> cut you open. Yeah, you know, cut me open. You better be close to the hospital because I am going to die. Jeez. Kyler Easterling is on. Hair is looking good, fellas. What hair? <laughs> oh. Uh, Kyler, uh, I've got a, I got a shirt here for you. Um, I like it. Any kind yes. of hair, kind of Kyler. I got a little bit of fuzz because uh, I don't like during the winter stuff. No, I like see, a I, little I, bit I of like fuzz to keep, to keep, keep the, it down. Uh, so listen, I have a story about that. I got to write this down though before I forget it. Yes. Kyler, send me a private message. You can send that here on Facebook uh, to the Mud Buddy page, or you can go on to our the Mud Buddy website and in the chat bot in the corner, you can go there too and send me your address and yes. I'm gonna get this shirt on and tell me your size as well Kyler Easterling this is the uh, the assassin log the right assassin log and I the keep... assassin pin is dying yeah <laughs> oh, there it goes well it sits out in the boat because I don't I always leave it in the boat rain or shine so it'll be kind of like a pirate all like you know warped up it'll after, be all weather this by winter the... yeah but you know <laughs> hopefully we get some wet weather other than 70 degrees in the middle of October but this way I never forget I can get him all sent out Kyler Easterling um, we're doing the gray, gray mud buddy shirt. Gray mud buddy shirt. That one's for you, Extra Kyler. Small. Thanks for pointing out my baldness. <laughs> okay, good. One down. Perfect. Okay, uh, Rick is with a great opener. Out for an hour and a half. Five birds. Not bad. Not Rick. bad. We're, okay, Rick. We need. To, where are you? Where are you? Rick is, is in Michigan? Michigan. I think he's a little too far to come on out, or we drive out that way. I know that's a that's a trip. Yeah. Oh, but we got James McDowell is back on with us, running Big Blade and getting weed wrapped around the prop and housing. Prop is tight. What should he do about that? Take the weeds out. <laughs> <laughs> a, a good sharp knife. Smart alligator. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, weed line cutter. Um, make sure you've got your prop on all the way as tight as it'll go. Mm-hmm. Kind of keep that gap closed. Yeah, try and keep yeah. that, that gap as closed. But he is saying that it is it is, yeah, that it is tight. Um, James, if you continue to have trouble with that, call Micah. Call Micah. Not you. <laughs> wow. Pass sure. the buck. You know, pass, pass the, buck. the buck off. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Got it. <laughs> well, I'd say Enrique, but he's not here. Oh yeah. yeah he's, he won't be back till Monday. He won't be back till Monday. He's so at the happiest can... place on earth. That's what they call it. I've been there a couple times. It ain't all that happy. <laughs> I feel like the happiness is directly increased by how few. Of a number you have in your party. Yes. That's how I feel about it. Yes. The smaller number, the smaller your party, the higher number, higher level of fun. But Ricky's party is this many plus more. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm saying that, because he's got the largest party in the whole world. (laughs) 
He's got a large party. I Good mean, family. I mean, you couldn't even walk down the streets <laughs> in Disneyland with that many people. <laughs> hey, could you imagine if they're all in different, or if they're all in colored no, shirts? Seriously, like, I think they all ought to go as like Jedi and just yeah. storm through the. <laughs> Ricky, if you're watching, you need to send me some pictures, man. Yes. I have not seen this We want to see the happiest place on Earth. I want to see your happy face in the happiest place on Earth. Um, Casey Brady is with us. Afternoon, gentlemen. Weather coming in this weekend is hopefully going to get another shipment of birds. That is what everybody's hope is right now. Right. I was talking to Dave about that as well. He said this weekend should be really good. Should and that's Casey good... Brady from Utah? Yes. Casey, call me <laughs> Wednesday. Casey, I also need pictures, and you know what I'm talking about. I need pictures of that. I'm talking about Wednesday next week. Live, call me. Oh, awesome! And Ky Kyler Easton just sent me the message with his with his address. Thank you, Kyler. That's awesome. Was that a large shirt? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't, didn't, read, that. didn't read it through. It just came. Just, just the, the little bing. warning came up. Yes. Uh, but yes, Casey, I need pictures. Ryan Blount is on. New boat is kicking butt, man. That's awesome. Ryan Blount was our big winner um, of the boat. Oh, he won the new boat. Yeah, he won huh? the boat last year. Yeah. Cool. That boat is really sweet. It's a sweet ride. Look, it's an XL. I know. With a mud buddy. I know, right? What are you gonna do? Uh, JT Fleetwood is on. Do you have a general reduction number from the engines compared to the power at the prop? You know so that? from the crankshaft down to the drive, the lower sprocket, you lose roughly about two horsepower. Okay. With the belt drive. And they call that a reduction. I guess. Uh, see, that's me learning something. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know that. About two. Okay. Yes, about two horsepower from of loss from the crank down to the lower drive to the prop. Sure. It's about two horsepower one loss. Wow. Great one. Good question. I'm going. I'm done for the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as smart as That's as smart as I'm gonna get today. <laughs> Very nice. Brandon um actually JT Fleetwood for such a good question. I have got a hat for you. I've got a tango free hat for you. Which one should we do? Let's you know what? I I'm partial to this one. I like the I the do brown too, actually. One. I'm a big fan of it. We'll do the tango free brown. Isn't this kind of like wax or something? It is. So it's, it's, it's it's Why, so bad it's water, weatherproof. A water resistant, resistant. I guess. Probably. I would say proof. Proof, yeah. probably not. Resistant. But yeah. But that's gonna that's gonna keep you dry. That'll put a, a nice looking hat from our yeah, friends at Tangle Free. I mean I gotta use my bag. You know, I told you last week I gotta use it and carry it. It's a little heavy with all the gear when you have to walk a mile. <laughs> but when you're shooting out of the boat, great bag. Great Holds bag. Holds all the stuff you need. So yes. Yeah. Great. I Very good. Kick my little bag to the curb and I have my big bag now. Okay. Uh, we got Brandon Smith with us. Hey, hey, Brandon. Sid is on watching as is well. Is that Sid from Fast Duck? Hey, Sid. I'm already getting requests for January. You Siri thought you were talking to. Oh, Siri. <laughs> hey, Siri, shut up. Can't stay in her sometimes. She's in the way. I've already got some requests for banana bread, Sid. Clint's nuts. Yeah. He wants nuts in his banana bread when you come yes. out this year. Yes, we want nuts. Um, Andy Johnson has a really good idea. Andy Johnson's yes. full of good ideas. Andy He's got Johnson's a really good idea. This guy can help. If with we a could lot make this happen, this what? is this is his suggestion of what we should do next week while I'm gone. Okay, what's that? Because I don't think he trusts you to run this show. He wants me to just not, he wants me to cancel it. No, he wants you to bring in Ambry, Laura, and Candace and have them host the show. Ambry would do it. Candace would, would never not, do it, and Laura never. would also probably never do it. Laura, I think, well, she did well, our little uh, pumpkin could. carving contest. That is right, we could. I think it's such Candace, a good idea. Candace and Jody and Sherelle, no way, might be able to get Alicia, our receptionist, maybe, but maybe. I doubt it. Wouldn't that be fun, though? It'd be fun to have the ladies Hey, Andy, host. I got an idea. Why don't you come out next week, and you and I will host the show? It's a great idea. Or maybe I'll shoot out to Louisiana. Yeah, sure. We'll just do shoot a, on out. Yeah, well, I'll start driving gonna, on Monday. If you're going to shoot out there, you know, wouldn't shoot out to where we are and actually join us yeah, out there. No. Uh -oh. So Andy, if you can make that happen, talk to talk to Dad Hank. See if you can hold down the fort. You cruise out here to Utah, and we'll go out and do a little shooting on the water. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna break here because I've got a lot more coming up. Um, but let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. What are we talking about today? I don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. We I pulled a rabbit out of our hat. <laughs> I do know what we are talking about today, but it requires you. We are going to talk about belt tensioning today. Belt tensioning, yes. yes. I do want to clarify something, though, that you're talking about with our little uh, our little motor incident on the water this yes. weekend. The, it's not a very common occurrence. For us, our boat, the Salty Assassin, happens to be a, a test boat 
for this. So yes, we anytime be... they like tweak something or are testing <laughs> something or looking at something, our boat is the one that does that. So there are a lot of people in and out, moving yes. things, doing all sorts of yes, stuff. That's, that's so I don't want true. you to all think that we're neglecting the salty. We're not or, neglecting it. We just get in and go. It's <laughs> or everybody that, else. Yeah, that like we don't know. But so that's why because so, they were. Uh, they, some yeah, things had they, happened they to the boat. Some, they were uh, making some changes, some modifications, yes. and things like that. And that is we're why the, we're the guinea pigs. Yes, we are the guinea pigs, and, and it had been guinea. And we, that was our first guinea. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so but hey, we're okay. I just we had to it. clarify that because yes. um, you know it happens. It happens. All we did was tighten those up. It but was it just a, goes it was to show. Quick... Always check your your connection. Yes. Have you tried turning it off and on again? That's yes. my that's my computer fix. Yes, my yeah. computer. Well, that's what how I figured out it was power because when I turned it off turn it back on there was no lights in the uh, tachometer yes so that was a good indication no power tighten up the two bolts two nuts yes. and but we had that look of fear for a second oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like, it's like I'm not paddling this in <laughs> I'm to wave somebody down <laughs> all right I'm gonna come around and grab the camera okay you grab the motor and I'm gonna get in close here get in close so we're just going to kind of run through. These videos are on our YouTube page and also on our Mud Buddy website. I'm just going to talk about a quick belt tension. Um, got to remember, you old school guys who do not have reverse, pretty much everything that we're going to do today, you do with yours. But there are a couple bolt locations on the inside that are a little bit different than here because we've actually upgraded and moved the bolt pattern on the old motors out before you always had to have a special little tool uh, to get behind the electric clutch to get the bolts out but we've changed out I've already got the cover off I'm not going to tear the whole thing loose uh, readjust it or anything like that it's pretty much set up ready to go this is a customer's motor I just literally was running over here at three o'clock with it while Jeffrey was tapping his foot waiting for me to show up so basically, when you're doing a belt tension, you're going to have to remove the cover, pull the plug, and then what you're going to do is you're going to start down here at the bottom. You're going to remove, or just, you don't need to remove, just loosen them. And we're talking like one to two turns. You're going to start with the four half inch bolts down here. Let's see. My, Can you, it's kind of hard with you. My <laughs> thing, my, uh, my tripod is so long, I can't get it to bend like that. Sorry. <laughs> And then you're gonna to go to the four bolts here in the middle, and then you've got four inside. So you're just gonna loosen them up enough. And what you're loosening them for is when you take the tension bolt, you want a little bit of tension on the casting when it slides, but you don't want a lot. You don't want to bend the little tab. So then you're just going to take the bolt down here, loosen the two nuts, and then take the bolt and push it up, which pushes the casting down and puts tension on the belt. Then when you're done and you get the tension that you want, you're going to tighten up the tension bolt, lock that down first. Once you lock that down, it should hold its tension fairly well. But one of the things a lot of customers forget or don't know, and holy, <laughs> and somebody's got a lot of anti-seas everywhere. <laughs> holy cow. I'm gonna have to talk to my boys out in the back. They got enough on there for like, eight bolts but that's okay you can just um, use kyler's brand new shirt that yeah, will i'll use this brand new shirt <laughs> just it, it'll kidding. be mud buddy I'll, it'll be signed by keith <laughs> and anti -Z. so once you get the tension bolt tightened up then you always want to start at the bottom so you're going to tighten up the four bottom bolts on the bottom the middle and the four at the top and always recheck your tension because it can move a little bit um couple of the, the only few tools you need you need a half inch wrench for the bottom. You need a 9 16 for the top. You older generation HD sport guys, you need a six inch extension with a half inch crow's foot and a 9 16 crow's foot. That was not going to stay there. But what we did is instead of putting the extension into the back of the crow's foot in the 3 8 hole, we welded it, tack welded it to the backside. And that, what that does is it allows you to get under the electric clutch to get the two half inch bolts and the two 916 bolts. So you old school guys that don't have the reverse, these are a must in your toolbox. Of course you need uh, an extension, a ratchet. This is to remove the cover, your Allens and your check plug. 
And the most important little tool you need is your Gates belt tension tester. This little thing is a lifesaver. If you're trying to do it by squeezing, which I'm not going to do, uh, you're either going to be way too loose or too tight. Too tight tends to cause as much damage or more than being too loose. Too loose, you'll beat the belt. It, the belt will beat itself and fray. If it's too tight, it'll break straight across. I like to keep the belt tension between 12 to 17 pounds. So if I'm at 13 or 14 pounds, I'm not going to adjust it up to 17. I'm just going to ride it through, give it a check in a couple months. If I'm down at 12, I'll probably bump her up back up to 15 or 16. Please don't go below 12 pounds. It just tends to wreak havoc down the road. So if you do this once a year, you're usually pretty good, like everything on this thing, every 50 hours. Um, the belts are rated for... I think the old yellow belt that we used to do was rated for like seven to 9,000 hours. And I don't know what the new black and red belts rated at. I'm sure it's a lot more. So just a few simple tools. Best way to learn your motor is to do it yourself. Don't be afraid. It's a little nerve wracking the first time. Might take you a couple times to get the tension just right. But all you're doing is moving the belt up and down. Uh, pretty simple. Um, we've got the vid full videos that Ricky's done on YouTube. Uh, we've got some older ones on there too from uh, Kent and Daniel, I believe. No, David at Gator Tracks. Did them on the old HD Sports. They showed you the tools, the tensioners, and all those kind of things. So it's really simple. If you're going to do it, you're nervous about it, you watch the video, you don't understand it, give myself, Micah, and Ricky a call. We'll walk you through it. Yes. Because it's not, it's not really... It's like anything you do the first time is a little nervous. After you've done it, you're like, wow, that's pretty simple. And it really is. And it's simple enough to do it every 50 hours. It really is. Really, really is. But if you don't have it, you need it, backwater performance, or your local dealer might carry them in stock. So, yeah. but this is a must. Yeah. Not over 17 pounds on the belt and right. not under 12. Good. And you'll be safe. Awesome. Because. With the weather getting warmer, that's why I was running a little bit late today. We had a customer show up with his boat, needed some stuff today because he wants to go hunting tomorrow. Yeah. So that's why I was running a little late today, helping uh, somebody on the floor. Good. Good for you. So nice, nice guy. Helping. Helping. I just, actually, I just got the guy in and I handed him off to Ian, the shop manager. Now Ian's taking care of him. Very good. So. Very but, good. Yeah. Um, all right. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. That's very helpful. Um, like you said, all of those videos are on the website and on YouTube, so you can go into the uh, uh, help and tips or the, what is it, tips and tricks, tips I think, and, yeah, tips and tricks like section that. like that on the website, um, and all those videos are in there. You can you can see all of those. Yeah. Um, speaking of Ricky, though, he is watching. He is right now. So, Ricky, I was, I was saying, I, probably before you jumped on, I would die to see a pic of you in the happiest place on, on Earth. Earth. I want to see your happy face in the happy place. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> With at least... More than four kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least. At least. All right. I got David O'Flynn watching. Hey, David. How he are says, you? He says, hey, guys. We'll be picking up my new boat this weekend, 1854 Pro Series with the 44 EFI HDR count. Wait for the season. I love those Pro Series boats. Yes. They are amazing. In fact, we've got one right out there. Has it got your name on it? It does not have my name on it, my unfortunately. Neither. In fact, it has got that. Uh, it's... Uh, Kind of a, a little tester boat that that we brought in. Is it? Yes. I haven't seen that. You have to show me. Yes, that. I'll show it to you. It's got the it's got the turbo on it out there. Oh. Yes, a that's turbo. that's a pro series boat. Gotcha. So it's a console boat. But oh. It's, but it's also got. Um, that's why you like it. That it's is why console. I like it. Absolutely, it's a console boat, and it's. Uh, I mean, it is fully loaded. Like so, you've got the. Uh, um, as long as I'm thinking of the right one, but we've got the the shallow water console, uh -huh. which is a pretty basic console, really wonderful boat, of course, just like an F4 with the console. But then there's the Pro Series console, and it's got all this storage. It's got like options for live wells and all. I mean, it's, it's cool. It's like all really the, all the bells and whistles. All the bells and whistles. It's a sweet, sweet boat. So it's not a duck boat. Yeah, yeah, it's a duck boat. No, a duck boat is a handle steer, tiller steer. <laughs> With lots of wide open storage? I guess, if that's what you need. Because when you hunt with three guys like we did this weekend, and I was in the original mm. test pro hole 
from three years ago. But I will. That, that thing has <laughs> all the space you need for three dudes, a dog, and your gear. But I will bet you that if David O'Flynn sent us a picture of that new Pro Series that he's got, he will have plenty of room. I want to see it loaded. All I want right. to see with him, right, his Dave. boys, and his gear, and that'll help me. David O'Flynn, when you grab that boat, if you will send me a picture fully loaded, fully that boat, want, when I you take your, it out, I, I want, want your, gear. your guys, your gear, your dog, the whole shebang, all loaded up. Send me a picture. I've got a, I've got a shirt for you. Or something else cool as well. It's getting wintertime. Could be one of those nice, fancy, mud buddy hoodies. Mm, we'll see how good the picture is. Uh, depending on the picture, good picture. But David, nice I, got, I got something for you, David. If you'll post, no, send I'm me, sure those, send I'm just giving you stuff because those console boats are, yeah. you know, the console's in the way. The console's in the way. I really do love it. It's a great boat. Congratulations. And yes. he's got that bigger motor. That's going to be great. You'll love it. Uh, Brooks Catmull is on. Uh, slowly becoming a waterfowl man with the beard, Jeffrey. Yes, I'm trying my hardest, you guys. <laughs> you should But be. I hate it. You know, you're, so you've got to be past it's that, just, though. Man, like, it's just, I don't know. You know what? To find out when it's itchy is I've got some beard soap. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, this stuff doesn't work. It works. And then put a little bit of oil in it. I know. And if you keep it conditioned well, I, like, oh, I was going to say your hair, this. but. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. We don't have that. So, I, uh, like, so it needs to be conditioned because it's hair. So no, it needs I know, a little bit I, more I love. I do. It's just, I don't know. Like, it's in my mouth all the time. And well, you just, can trim it back. I don't know. It's just, just, ooh, but it's I'm just afraid if you get bugs. a trimmer, it gone. I, I have a trimmer. I know, but I'm going to say if you start trimming a little bit, I know, yes. you trim it right yep, off. That will, that will absolutely so, happen. Just will. push through it. It's yeah, okay. I'm going to push it's through hard. it because it is the season. It is the season. It keeps your face warmer mm, in the yeah, winter. Shooting down the water away yeah. at 6 o'clock in the morning or, or some of them early. So you, early all, after. so you can all call me a, a waterfowl man, not a Water, waterfowl boy, I guess. Waterfowl man. <laughs> 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 So, uh, I've also got Jeff Fuchs, Team Jeff, is, hey, is Jeff. riding high. We've got all three, we got three of us at least on today. Uh, it is going really good today, Jeff. Thanks Where's my buddy me. Keith Snow? I haven't seen him on here Come yet. On, Hold on, Keith, though. I'm only about me, halfway man. through. You're killing me, Keith. <laughs> Brooks, i got to get on Keith's level. I will never be on Keith's beard level. I do not this have that is... kind of game. I don't have that beard game. I'm this, sorry. When I start December last year, it's almost been a year. Yeah, it's been a year. But I've trimmed it a couple times, but I've decided until duck season's over... No, I'm not no, no trim. trim. No I trim. might do a little bit. This is what bothers me down here a little bit. Yeah. But I'm trying to. I always keep mine pretty trimmed there. But yeah. I mine is so patchy too, and the cheeks that I. It's embarrassing. Yeah. I don't know. It's a whole it's, thing. Okay, it's okay. a whole thing. Not everybody can have a nice beard. There's. I mean, remember our buddy Jonathan? Now that was a beard. Remember Jonathan from the Red Olive? Yes. Oh he yeah. He has a. F oh Jonathan. He yeah. And there's his, a lot of our, our guys out there that level. when we see pictures and stuff. They've got some, a lot of those guys out there yeah. got some nice looking beards. Well, and, and you know, Freddie has always been a big inspiration for me. Freddie's, Freddie's beard just, is I mean, he just cuts that thing off and it grows like the oh, next I know. day. I know. <laughs> like, need he's to find like out what he's eating. Duck hunting Santa Claus, man. He is just <laughs> so good. Yeah, he can go from no hair to full beard in like a week. Yes. And then there's Jay Paul with that little bitty. Well, see, now that's, that's a little more my style. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's, he's, he's a handsome fellow. What are you going to do? You know, he's, he's put together. He's put together. <laughs> His little tennis cap and his little <laughs> his his tennis little cap. Watch it. Watch <laughs> it. No, he asked me about it all the time. He's like, why don't we like offer any visors? And I was like, because I'm making this choice. And visors are nothing but like a, 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 a sun suck. And you just point all the sun directly right onto on my chrome right dome the bald and head. burn the oh, yeah. knife even with light, Even with lotion on. No, no, no. no. Yeah, it's no, just, it's no. like, just here, please burn me and give me a nice big liner on it. So no. So no visors. Did, Sorry. Right, no visors. No visors. No. I well, don't believe in them. I'm here. against them. Yes. And as long so, as you're buying the stuff, there will be no visors. There will be no visors. I, Sorry. I'm, a, I'm with you 100%. <laughs> Good. If you have a problem with that, you send me a message. Jeff at... What? Jeff at... <laughs> Just kidding. Jeff, Jeff at, at nobisor.com. You, you can send it there. All right? Jeff at no Jeff visor. at, Jeff at I don't care dot com. <laughs> Just kidding. Anthony... Yurich, I believe, well, could be George. I'm not sure. Yurich, with a J. Okay. I don't know. I apologize, Anthony. But uh, he says this motor works awesome for us at Zero Duck Thirty Veterans Waterfowl Hunting Group. Really, really awesome. Cool. Again, send me pictures. I love, love pictures. And remember, if you send pictures, you're giving us permission. 
to post. Yes, if you send them to me, I'm hoping to repost them. That's why yes. I want you to send them to me, so I can share them We're with gonna everybody. We're going to make you as famous as we are. Yes. Because I love, I love to share, and I always put your name on them when I share them for you. I will say that, that you sent them to me. I'm afraid to touch anything with I know, hand. please it's don't like, touch me. No, you're going to slap me on the back with that <laughs> cheese ham. Just... No, no, no. <laughs> Uh, JT Fleetwood says, I took some military buddies out, but it has been too hot here in North Carolina. Yes, I'm sure it's a little warm there, too. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Hopefully, the cool good. weather is coming for everybody. Okay, Randy Webb is with us. Remember how I wasn't going to mention names about uh, catch a release? Randy Webb. I wasn't going to name names. I just said Randy Webb. Randy Webb. <laughs> I haven't seen the video. <laughs> you got you to gotta watch it. It was awesome. What do you want, Randy? You want I, no, I've already got no, I've already got his stuff in a box. In a box, right? Yes, because he 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 suckered Jay Paul right into giving him a hat. Don't try a boat motor because it won't happen. <laughs> Jay Paul, no boat. Uh, Is Jay Paul with us today? No, I've not seen Jay what Paul on yet, but that? you know, I don't know. I don't think you have any room to talk. When was the last time you actually watched their show? Okay, I have a full time job. It's sitting behind a desk answering emails, phone calls, Facebook, Facebook Messenger. I'm which, busy. Which to me, I mean, you've got two screens. Just throw it on on one of those screens. But then I won't get anything done on the other screen. Yeah, and I get paid sometimes. for the other screen, not that screen. But I'll try to remember. I, I, I totally didn't even remember yesterday. Um, we do have Travis Madden. Hey, big Travi. So if you've got uh, duck calling questions, now is your now is your chance. Travis is on watching. He can. We're uh, talking world champion. Travis from when, Backwater when are we gonna? When do we get back on the duck call, Keith? When is that happening? When you and I can get some time with Travis and learn how to use it properly instead of sound like sick animals flying through the air. Hmm. So nice. I, I'm thinking we're probably, I was thinking a month away, maybe, maybe a little longer. Maybe a little longer. Maybe like, er, like early, maybe mid November. We'll I'm thinking more like December. <laughs> is, oh, is it? <laughs> Well, we have the schedule, so we'll have to look and see what the schedule says. And Travis's time. Uh, yes, for sure. We Maybe we can meet with Travis an hour before we go on the show. I know, that's what we need and to do. Just get out a little early, do some practicing, and then do a show. Yes. Yes. James McDowell asks, how often do you adjust the valve lash? I would say after on a brand new motor on break-in, after about 15 hours, and then about every 50 hours after that. If you want to do it more, do it more. But at least do it every 50 hours. We've had motors come in here to the shop that I'll bet you they've never had the valve lash. Ever really? done. Wow. Never. And some of them are really sloppy loose, and some of them are tighter than tight. So it's important, and it helps your motor run better. Yes. So every 50 hours after your first one. Um, Ricky says, ha, 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 what happy face, question mark, question mark, what happy place, question mark, question mark. <laughs> come on, oh, dude. Man. No, we want to see. He says he'll send us a picture later. I'll ho hopefully, I'll get that posted out for all of you yeah. to see. <laughs> he's awesome. got to get the family together. Because I'm sure he's got some older ones, he's got some middle ones, and he's got some little ones. Okay, so David O'Flynn actually says, you got to keep, it's a tiller. So that, that pro series is probably pro hole. Oh, pro hole. Probably, with the, with the tiller. Because he's he's happy for you. I mean, whatever, whatever. That's fine. That's fine. I'm happy for you, too. I'm still happy about it. Uh, and you know, I know you like you the know, console, console, and that's okay. I love, I love those console. But, but you know, you know more, I do because you're going to do more anyway. fishing than, yeah. than deer hunt. Deer hunting, deer duck hunting, d deer, deer, duck. You know, whatever. <laughs> hey, there's deer. a lot of guys who use our boats to go deer hunting. Oh, absolutely. You can use them for just about anything you want. Uh, so it's great on the big water. Yes, Rich Euster gear reduction and a two blade prop. Uh, my XL F86, my buddy 4400 is great on the big water here in Michigan. Awesome. It is. How are the ducks in Michigan? Michigan? Yeah, how are the ducks in Michigan? I don't know. I've never been to Michigan. Oh. Been to Minnesota quite a few times, but uh, not to Michigan. Always stopped at Minnesota because that's where Pops' family was. There's some good. You have to read these. I'm not. They're all. We're all very responsive. You guys are so great. I I freaking love this. It makes me laugh. But James McDowell is no excuse, Keith. I watch every week from work. I'm not sure what he's referencing. I I didn't read that. I gotta scroll back up. Gotta scroll back up. You're, oh yeah, he's talking about that valve blast. There's no excuse. Oh. Yeah, there's not. There's not a good excuse yes. for anything because if you prevent it now, it'll save you in the end. Like just like the next time we take the boat out, I'm gonna do a little preventative check. I'm going to check a few things before we go out just because we don't know who's been in and out of the boat and we are the guinea pig boat 
Yes. We tested some some pretty cool things that we can't talk about yet. We know we cannot talk about those, which leads me right into one of the last uh, questions here. Any new props out or anything coming out no. in the new in the near no, future? No new props. No new props. Nothing that I know of. And you know, I, we're always uh, innovating here. Yes. At my buddy, um, there isn't anything I can talk about, but we're not sitting still by any means. No. There's stuff coming down the line. I just don't. No wind is coming down. I, yeah, and I I can't even like breathe words of it. But no. all I can say is that just because just if you stick say around, something, man, there, I just, I, it's it's awesome. If you say it or I say it, we're probably both dead. Yeah, and I still have a family. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> and we're gonna talk about the new. No, <laughs> come this way. <laughs> just Let me show you. But there there are some things that I mean. There's a couple of new features that are on these new we are HDR 40s that are rolling out. Yes, that are rolling out. That are on some of the new motors since I want to say like the first of September. Right. That it. Yeah. It's it's called a what do we call it? It's, it's a rolling change. Is what is yes. what it's called. It's just a rolling change. It's a rolling change. So some of these later models from the last yeah, month or so. And um, they've got that new um, motor cover on it, that side cowling. The white side cowling. And unfortunately, that's not going to work on other people's older motors because it mounts to the base plate, yeah. which we have a new base plate. My my goal is in the next couple of weeks is to do a, a good episode a about good, that and kind of show months. that off a little bit so you know exactly what you're telling. Yes. If you kept an eye on the last, like, what was it, two weeks ago when we were in here, one of the motors we had had that cover yes. on it. Um, but it's something we haven't really talked about. Like I said, it's a rolling change, um, but I do want to show it to you and show it to you the right way so you can see exactly what it is. Do you, have, do you have your new decal design? I no, know the been working no on. I have been, but it is not. Final. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping? I hoping? say that all the time. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. It's like PMSS? Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping this week to get that wrapped up, but uh, that's just a little sticker, so yeah. no big deal on that. But yeah, some some cool things were always changing, but you know, we like I said, we don't sit still ever. And, We've got it. No, if we sit still, I tend to fall asleep. Crap ton of new features coming out. Um, good. So I'm going to end it there. You still have uh, two hats. Oh, a right. hat and I a, got a hat. Come on, man. All right. All right. It's We're looking for a really good question for the trash talker. How old is Jeff? Does anybody right. know how old Jeff First is? Person. First, First person. First person to get that right is going to get the trash talker. And like I can tell you, Jeff is 20 years are, younger than I am. Some mean things are about to be said about me, I feel like. <laughs> no. I just want to see how fast somebody can guess how old you are. All right. All right, we'll see. Has anything come through yet? I've got one. That is off. James McDowell, 34. Wrong. Nope. David O'Flynn, 15. You're my new best friend. <laughs> hey, you're not getting a trash talker because you're not even close. Brandon Smith, I will never talk to you again at 43. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Hendricks at 42. Nope. 43. Nope. Stephen Gray, 33. 29, Rick. Oh, you're so nice to me. Rick, one is scoring brownie I points. I say 29 every time I turn the uh, 29 was so long ago for me, I don't even remember. Wow. Nobody yet? No. No. One, okay, Josh just came in really close. Couple of... <laughs> Rick, he just said 64 like an a-hole. <laughs> All right, we're, boun we're bouncing around. We're bouncing around the number right now. There it is, Clint Wynn. Clint. Clint Wynn, 38 years old. I 38. just, I just turned, you were all, they were all guessing 37, lots 37. at 37, but I just turned 38. Uh, the first the of this first, month. The first yeah, of this month, first. yeah, just barely. So, Clint, you're getting a trash talker, man. From our friends at Rick Dunn and the boys Dunn, at Echo boys. Calls. Echo Calls. Rick Dunn's amazing. <laughs> World champion I need, caller. I haven't spoken Always to him Always a great supporter season. of the show. I know, I need to. So, and then, oh, yeah. what do we do with the other hat? Um, let's Should see. we ask how old is Keith? See if they can get that one. All right, how old is Keith? Let's try this one. Yeah, let's see how that goes. I'm probably gonna have less friends than you. Clint, um, send me your, send me a PM with your address, and I'll get that sent off to you. You can either do that on on the Facebook page, or you can go to our website. Down in the corner, there's a chat box, and you can go in there. Yes, all the almighty chat box. Mm -hmm, the almighty chat box. How old is Keith? All right, we've got. Let's see. He's got to remember how old he is. Uh, 58? Nope. 59? Nope. 56? Nope. 52? Nope. 58? Nope. Close. St Stephen Gray, 54? Nope. 53? Nope. I wish. 57? 57. 57. James McDowell. James, you're the man. Yes, 57 in September of this year. I'm a 
60, I'm a 62 version so, of something. James, that's that tangle free um, Optifade hat. Yes. So, good guessing. Oh, that was fun. That was the most exciting part of the, part of the whole show. No, you do that more often. I like anti C's <laughs> all over my hand. Was the most. I was yeah. like, really? Somebody's gonna get some stuff wiped on their shirt when I see him. Good gravy, man. That's funny. <laughs> That was okay. a topic that came up about lunch last week, too. That so was. We were, we were talking about that. That's that's funny that you got I'm going to have to go that. show the... Uh, yes. Jeff Mullenix guessed that you were 87. Come Team on, Jeff! Jeff! Woo! I like it. <laughs> I hope your motor right makes it through the year. Yeah. No. I'm going to put a curse on it now. Wow. Jeff, send me a picture I'm of your gonna, boat and your motor. I'm going to do a little do voodoo. Do a little voodoo. I'm going to send it down to my buddy Andy in Louisiana and have somebody put a little voodoo on it. It'll be like voodoo oh, on yeah, it. a little doll, like a pin. Yeah, there what you go. What do you call those voodoo dolls, yeah, I guess? Voodoo yeah, voodoo doll. So when he's driving down the, the marsh, he's going to get a nice poke in the ass. That is... <laughs> that is mean. Uh, happy Halloween, I guess. Yeah, uh, voodoo guess. motors. Yeah, voodoo. <laughs> Interesting. All right, everybody, we're going to end it right there. Thank you so much for watching us uh, this week. Thank you, Keith, for uh, setting us straight with the uh, tools and the uh, anti seize. <laughs> Make sure you use a lot of anti seize. <laughs> don't you? You don't need that much. You don't need that much. Trust you don't need that, much. Need that much. A little goes a long way. Yes. And a lot um, goes farther. Next week, I am not going to be here. No. So, next week's show will be Keith and some mystery guest who knows what's gonna happen i do have um, a big hint so that, i hope he calls me yes we're hoping we're hoping that as well i however will be joining uh j paul and jeremy on their episode next week of catch and release so that's not even cool tune in next week uh next tuesday for that that's, that's gonna be really really awesome uh we've been talking about cooking up some fish doing a fish fry or something like that it's gonna be really, really? yeah oh yeah on your camp chef no. No, not on, well, probably some. I mean, who knows what those guys have? They've got all that cast iron and all, all sorts of crazy grills. Fish and cast iron is good. So, uh, uh, so tune in to that. That's going to be a lot of fun next week. That's Tuesday at uh, four o'clock Central Time. I can't believe you're pimping them that hard, only because you're going to be there. Because I'm going to be there. Yes. yes. It's going to be awesome. So tune in next week, uh, right here, same bad time, same bad channel, right here in the shallow water. Take care, everybody. And just, you know, stay there.